Hey YouTube, Searching for Signal here. Um, coming at you with a little uh, discussion on why if you're getting direct TV and the technician says, I'm sorry I have to replace all your lines because they are copper clad and this is the reason. All right, so just a quick uh, tutorial. Um, copper, you have two different types of uh, RG6. Well, there's multiple, but you basically have a center conductor of solid copper. Let's see if I can get that in there. It's probably not going to focus. Camera phone. Anyway, solid copper, and then you have copper clad. Now, obviously, you have multiple, you know, you have quad shield, um, copper clad, um, which, you know, you have dielectric, and then you have the braiding, and then you have aluminum shielding or uh, tin shielding. Um, but the reason why DirecTV is mandating everything be solid copper, and pretty much they know that most everything in a house is not solid copper, because um that's just it's cheaper for you know home builders and it passes the signal i'm not going to tell you it doesn't pass the signal if i connect solid or if i connect copper clad to a genie system it will work now what most people know don't know or should know is that solid copper passes dc current or direct current a lot better than copper clad steel basically um obviously copper is a better conductor than steel um so if you and the reason why I have these two receivers out here is because this is the new HR54 Genie model. Um, and this is the H44 Genie, Genie Lite, if you will. Um, both of these have built-in power supplies. What that means is they basically put current into the coax that you're connecting it to, to that splitter, or and then straight to the Allen B. Um, so obviously, with any type of run, you're going to want a solid copper going to this location at a minimum. Just for now. Well, if I, if I connect to... Um, copper clad will it work yeah it'll work but obviously depending on that run you're going to have a lot more dc loss with uh, copper clad than you will with uh, copper solid copper um so direct tv is basically mandating us replacing the lines to pretty much i mean every line if it's a not even a uh, not even a power passing uh, line they still want us to replace it what i think because of making sure that it's done right. If I replace a line, then I know I replace it, I know it's done right. So they want to minimize the um, chances for a service call and going back there because obviously that costs them money to pay me to go out there and fix something. So I just want to put that out there. Now, um, I personally don't install Genie systems anymore on copper clad. That's, that's pretty much it unless, um, now if I get to a you know million dollar home and it's you know copper clad, and I have no way of running it, then I'll either make the strong call telling them, hey, go with Comcast, um, or I'll try to run one, at least at a minimum, at least the line to uh, their main location, and then obviously do a couple tests, make sure their runs aren't ridiculously long for their copper clad, but you know, educate the customer, hey, you may have issues, most likely you will not, I would say probably 95% of, uh, of the time you're not going to have an issue but you may have an issue now obviously you get you know bend radius is going to effect if you kink a line all that kind of stuff too that's what your tests are for um, but you can educate the customer um, so if a technician a direct tv technician really any technician but if a direct tv technician comes into your house and installs a hr54 h44 or any genie uh, system in your house and is pre-wired with copper clad and inducing volt or you know putting DC um, through to the Allen B, then they are wrong. Um, will it work? Yeah, it'll work. I mean, when I was doing this before the Genie system came out with the HR24 and lower, you know, you had you know current going through copper clad. They didn't say anything about it. Now it was known, hey, copper is always better than steel as far as um, passing electricity. But uh, the system worked. Um, other than that, I mean, there's. Not much else to it. It's just, it's just a, a loss in DC, um, as opposed to solid copper, and that's why Directv is mandating. You know, we go into houses and replace lines because of that. They don't want a service call. They don't want to pay us to come back out and fix something else. Um, it just it costs them money. I would say um, solid copper is a little more expensive than copper clad. But if you get quad shield copper clad, um, it's probably you know you could find. Solid copper is going to be cheaper than that. So um, I pulled this out of a, a customer's home yesterday. Uh, they were in a house, and I was like, hey, I can't use it. So they're, you know, I just ran lines on the outside of their house and did the best as I could to hide the lines, but that's 
pretty much where you stand. It's Direct TV, they want all coax lines being solid copper, three gigs and 75 ohms. Three gigs and 75 ohms is pretty standard, even with, you know, copper clad. I mean, 75 ohms is pretty standard. I think it's RJ59. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much my spiel on why Direct TV is basically uh, telling you, the customer, sorry, we got to replace your lines. It had to be solid copper, three gigs and 75 ohms. All right, if you like the video, click like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys have a great day.